Hello and welcome to our channel. In this video, we will discuss various foods that should not be stored in the refrigerator and explain why refrigeration can harm their quality and taste. It is quite natural for all of us to want to preserve and protect the foods we purchase. With that in mind, we always think the best way to do that is by putting them in our refrigerators. However, certain foods should never be placed in the fridge. And by the end of this video, you'll better understand how to properly store these foods to ensure they remain fresh and delicious. The information provided in this video is for general educational purposes only always use your best judgment. So with that in mind, let us get started. Please take note of the following information. Number one, tomatoes. Tomatoes are best stored at room temperature. Refrigeration can cause them to lose flavor and texture. Cold temperatures break down the membranes inside the fruit, resulting in a mushy texture. Furthermore, refrigeration can prevent tomatoes from ripening properly, leading to a less flavorful taste. The best way to store tomatoes is at room temperature, out of direct sunlight. Place them stem side down on a flat surface and consume them within a week for the best quality. If you have a partially used tomato, you can store it in the refrigerator, but use it within a day or two for the best quality. Number two, bananas. Bananas retain nutrients better outside the fridge. They should never be placed inside a refrigerator. According to the Canadian Produce Marketing Association, bananas are better kept on the counter until they ripen. The cold temperatures slow down the ripening process of bananas, while moisture and darkness in the fridge will only facilitate rotting. Number three, apples. Refrigerated apples can lose a bit of their crispness and sweetness. Additionally, apples produce the ripening agent ethylene, which can cause other foods to spoil more quickly. Ultimately, the best way to store apples is a matter of personal preference. If you like your apples very crisp and firm and are not worried about other foods getting spoiled, refrigeration might be a good option. However, if you prefer a slightly softer, sweeter apple, you might want to try storing them at room temperature. Number four, potatoes. Potatoes should never be stored in the refrigerator as cold temperatures can cause the starch in the potatoes to convert to sugar, resulting in a sweet, gritty taste. Additionally, refrigeration can cause potatoes to develop a dark, spotty appearance, which is unappealing and may indicate spoilage. Po potatoes are best stored in a cool, dark place with good ventilation, such as a pantry or cupboard. Keep them in a paper bag or a basket to allow air circulation and prevent moisture buildup. Properly stored potatoes can last for several weeks to a month. Number five, onions. Onions are another food item that should not be refrigerated. Cold temperatures can cause onions to become soft and moldy, and the humidity in the refrigerator can lead to moisture accumulation, which can cause onions to spoil quickly. Instead, store onions in a cool, dry, dark place with plenty of air circulation. A mesh bag or open basket is ideal, allowing air to circulate and preventing moisture buildup. Keep onions away from potatoes, as the gases emitted by potatoes can cause onions to spoil faster. Number six. Garlic, like onions garlic, should not be refrigerated. Cold temperatures can cause garlic to sprout and become bitter, while the humidity in the refrigerator can lead to mold growth. The best way to store garlic is in a cool, dry place with good air circulation, such as a pantry or cupboard. You can store garlic in a mesh bag or a garlic keeper with ventilation holes to allow air circulation and prevent moisture buildup. Number seven, bread. When you store bread in the refrigerator, it can become stale and dry much faster than when you store it at room temperature. The cool temperatures in the refrigerator can cause the starch molecules in the bread to recrystallize, resulting in a hard, dry texture. Instead, store bread in an airtight container or plastic bag at room temperature and consume it within a few days for the best quality. If you have a large quantity of bread that you cannot consume quickly, consider freezing it. Bread can be frozen for up to three months without losing its quality. Number eight, honey. Honey should never be refrigerated as cold temperatures can cause it to crystallize and become grainy. This can make it difficult to spread and can also affect its flavor. Refrigeration can also cause honey to absorb moisture leading to fermentation and spoilage. Refrigeration can also cause honey to absorb moisture leading to fermentation and spoilage. Instead, store honey in an airtight container at room temperature away from direct sunlight and heat sources. Properly stored honey can last for years without losing its quality. If your honey does crystallize, 
place the container in a bowl of warm water to restore its smooth texture. Number nine, eggplants. Eggplants are temperature sensitive, which is why keeping them in a fridge can harm them once the temperature drops below 50 degrees Fahrenheit. It can end up damaging both flavor and texture. You should keep eggplants separate from other fruits and vegetables. That's because they are also highly sensitive to ethylene, which is a natural gas. Those gases accelerate the ripening process. In case you want to store them in the fridge, make sure to use them right after you take them out. Number 10, pickles. Pickle is often found in refrigerators, but for your kind information, leave them outside of your fridge and give your fridge some free space. You should know that pickles are high in preservatives. It should also be noted that some foods are preserved with the help of pickles. So as pickles used as preservatives, you should not worry about its preservation without refrigeration. Number 11, avocados. Avocados are best kept at room temperature and not in the fridge. Refrigeration hampers their ripening process and alters their texture and flavor. The cold temperature slows down the enzymatic activity responsible for ripening, making avocados stay hard and unripe. When avocados are kept at room temperature, they ripen naturally, developing the creamy texture we all love. Cold storage also dulls the flavor as the cold can diminish the volatile compounds responsible for their taste. Avocados are unique fruits that ripen post-harvest. Refrigerating them interrupts this process, affecting their quality. The low temperatures can cause the avocado skin to darken, but the inside might remain underripe. Keeping avocados on the counter allows them to reach their ideal ripeness. Avocados are also sensitive to moisture, and refrigeration exposes them to potential moisture buildup, which can lead to mold growth and spoilage. To prevent this, store avocados in a dry environment at room temperature. If you have ripe avocados and don't plan to eat them right away, you can refrigerate them to slow down further ripening, but it's crucial to use them within a few days to enjoy their optimal taste and texture. Number 12, melons. Whole melons such as watermelon cantaloupe and honeydew should not be refrigerated until they are cut. Refrigeration can cause the melons to lose their flavor and become mushy as the cold temperatures can break down. The fruit cell structure instead store whole melons at room temperature and consume them for the best quality within a week. If you need to store a cut melon, wrap it tightly in plastic wrap or an airtight container in the refrigerator and consume it within a few days. Number 13, stone fruits, stone fruits such as peaches, plums and nectarines should not be refrigerated until fully ripe cold temperatures can cause the fruits to become mealy and lose flavor, as refrigeration can break down the fruit's delicate cell structure to ripen. Stone fruits store them at room temperature and check them daily for softness. Once ripe, you can store them in the refrigerator for a few days to extend their shelf life. However, be sure to consume them promptly for the best quality. Number 14, basil. Basil is a delicate herb that should not be refrigerated as cold temperatures can cause the leaves to turn black and lose their flavor. Refrigeration can also cause the basil to absorb moisture leading to wilting and spoilage to store basil, trim the stems and place them in a jar or glass of water similar to a bouquet, cover the leaves with a plastic bag and store the jar at room temperature away from direct sunlight, change the water every few days and consume the basil within a week for the best quality. Number 15. Tropical fruits. Tropical fruits such as bananas, mangoes, and papayas should not be refrigerated until fully ripe. Cold temperatures can cause these fruits to develop brown spots and lose flavor as refrigeration can interfere with the ripening process. Store them at room temperature and check them daily for softness. You can speed up the ripening process by placing them in a paper bag with an apple or banana. Once ripe, you can store tropical fruits in the refrigerator for a few days to extend their shelf life, but consume them promptly for the best quality. Number 16, nuts, nuts such as almonds. Walnuts and pecans should not be refrigerated unless they will be stored for an extended period. Refrigeration can cause nuts to absorb moisture and become soft and stale, losing their crisp texture and flavor. Instead, store nuts in an airtight container in a cool, dry place and away from direct sunlight and heat sources. If you need to store nuts for over a year, consider freezing them to maintain quality. Nuts can be frozen for up to two years without losing flavor or texture. Number 17. 
soy sauce. Soy sauce should not be refrigerated as cold temperatures can cause it to become cloudy and lose flavor. Refrigeration can also cause soy sauce to absorb moisture leading to a loss of quality and potential spoilage. Instead, store it in a cool, dry place away from direct sunlight and heat sources. A pantry or cupboard away from the stove is ideal. Properly stored soy sauce can last several months to a year without losing quality in this video we've discussed. If you found this video helpful and would like to see more content like this, kindly drop a yes in the comment box below your feedback. Motivates us to keep exploring and delivering valuable insights too. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative content. Like this, your support means the world to us together. We're committed to promoting your well-being. Until next time, take care and make your health a priority. Thank you for watching.